My top three underrated producers, I'm just gonna go off the top, but the first thing that popped in my head was Edon. But I also feel like he's an underrated MC. Um, just because he takes risks, but he still remains grimy and like real deal hip hop and doesn't give a fuck. And, it, and if you listen to his music, you, you can hear that. Sam I Am is fucking bananas producer, just raw gutter, like, ugh, like, but he does it in such an original way. Definitely has the Detroit vibe, but he takes it and makes it even more sloppy and adds a synth with like some samples. It's just to me, it's like some raw hip hop. Like you could probably uh, bone down with a chick to it too. The homie Ab Joe, who's actually part of the Dirty Science Click, he's also down with Selection. He's a very versatile cat who can make raw hip hop, but he can also make ill ass dance shit that'll make you just want to take your shirt off and, and dance tribal. Feel free. <laughs> For real though, I don't know. He makes really dope shit. He can take it from raw hip hop, like I said, and just take it to some whole dance tip and then still break it back down to some funky hip hop shit. Like my top three most underrated MCs, the homie Cassius King, Koss from Lamert Park, South Central Los Angeles, ripping dirty science. That fool's a beast. Listen to his albums, listen to his music. He's kind of a introvert. He doesn't really go out and perform that much and he's not really hip to the ways of how fast the music industry is moving. The music is there, the lyrics are there. He's an amazing MC. I definitely wish I had all the right reaches that help him be where he should be, but um, we're still crew and we're still working together to make that happen. Number two, and this is in no particular order, but Adad from Chicago, also ripping Dirty Science. Man, he's a super underrated MC. He's retardedly fresh, man. Like lyrically, he can he can take you anywhere, man. Oh man, his mixtapes back in the day, the the Prince joint that he rocked over Black Melt, the stuff he did over uh, Madlib beats. Those are like two of the most slept on mixtapes ever. Those things are super fire. I'm like, when I first heard it, I was like, yeah, like I, I, I you know, that's what really made me want to start fucking with a dot. And uh, I think those mixtapes should have blown way the fuck up more than they did and uh, he still continues to make really dope shit and I'm excited to work with him in the future. Number three un most underrated MC is this kid named Exile. He's uh, you know he's mostly known for uh, producing but he's been rapping the whole time he's been producing you know I mean he may you know take himself more serious as a producer but he's got some bars. He's got an album called Four Track Mind. He did on Four Track to pay homage to you know, how we used to make shit, you know? It wasn't always easy where you just, you know, everything's on your computer. Anyway, Exile, super underrated, good, great storyteller. <laughs> Holla at your boy. I'm gonna cut myself out as number three, okay? And I'm gonna put Denmark on there. Motherfucking Denmark uh, from uh, Crown Nation slash Dirty Science. Motherfucker is a beast and super underrated. And yo, check his shit out. And the shit he's got coming out is about to fucking slap you guys in the motherfucking face. He's an ill-ass producer too. Yep. Detroit slash Chicago. My biggest concern with this country is absolutely the prison industry. The, the prison industrial complex because oppression, systemic pressure, white supremacy, all these things the biggest tentacle of it, the most effective tool of it, is the prison industry. So this car started approaching me, and I wanted to move out of the way of the car. The car, the driver thought it would be funny to accelerate on the gas and drive towards me, and at the last minute, yank the wheel out of the way. So I, I jump out of the way, and they laugh. Peace decides to surprise us with, with this crazy beat. The beat was crazy. And so we got hyped, we was all hyped. My tent just went out of control. There was a pole in the middle on the side of the stage. And he started going around the pole super fast. And me and Elsa looking like, what is going to go on? To see him coming, I'm still thinking that's a, some sound guy or whatever. And he's going, blah, 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 blah. and I go, huh? And he just stole on me. Pop clocked me like right around here. He like, he's, he got me good. As soon as I went to punch him back, 